Hello folks, and welcome back to Core Farm. Here we are, finishing off the harvest on soybeans that we started in the last episode. We forgot to do this, almost, but get it done now. And yeah, the plan for today is going to be actually not the harvesting of the sugar beets. I think what I do is going to be a bit of a short episode, maybe, well, we'll say maybe, but... So yeah, the plan is going to be to plant some alfalfa in this field here, and I'm not going to worry at all about the mulching. But worker doing field 54, so whilst worker's doing that, we can go ahead and start planting this. Of course, that means we need a planter, or well, no, we need a seeder for the alfalfa. And it seems might go down a little bit, and that's because we fleece out the portion pronto, not enough it is, the right planter, or dark cedar, should I say. So yeah, that's the best option for us. We couldn't mulch this, but then we still need cultivation work done, and all that other good stuff on top of that, so I thought, okay, let's just continue on, and just, uh, see directly, so. I'm going to do it is part of the Sierra, let the worker continue. Shouldn't have too much issues. Actually, whilst we're here, we can deal with the mucking. So let's quickly empty this because we do have some manure over here. And uh, yeah, maybe you're looking at sell this around January time. Yes, yeah, there's not much need for it. Yeah, we can use it for muck spraying sideways there. And yeah, we may still do that. Ooh, there we go. A bit looser, but we have for now. So let's, yeah, just sort of here and we'll set it, so. Let's check the number here. It may have issues with it being one that I will, but It should be fine, but who knows? So, yeah, there's our stuff there for the. Was it the sugar beet stuff? And yep, workers almost done with this. But yeah, so we're got the John Deere here. And you've got a little bit of seed that we got from the store, but. Yeah, so that was, that's a bit of a bag, and I think the rest is in this shed to our right. I remember exactly so. If I say park it here for the time being, yeah, let's grab a bag of seeds and I'll grab a bag of fertilizer. So, there's the fertilizer. There we go, check that bag. A bit laggy there for some reason, not sure why. There's not too many assets around here. Yeah, a few bags, but apart from that, nothing much else. But Let's get these filled up and taken over here. Put these back in. Just close this up. And yeah, we'll take this over to the field. So actually, I think the best thing to do is get a worker on this. So yeah, I think we'll do that. So do that. Go to our worker. Set the go to travel mark. And yeah, there would do perfectly. But yeah, you know what? Heck, let's do muck spreading quickly. Yeah, get one more bucket, and then I think what we'll do is we'll take her for the worker, do a little quick time lapse of just picking up all the rest of soybeans. And yeah, I think we'll easily get about X amount that would equate to about four hundred thousand pounds. But yeah, if we recall in the last episode, soybeans are worth a lot of money, so... Which I did not realise, so if we go down here, at their peak price, six and a half grand, so... Maybe we're looking at around 6,600 quid for a thousand litres, so... Yeah, let's definitely do soybeans. Is that bit? Up. There we go. So yeah, you know what 
that's fine for now. But yeah, let's hop into the combine. Take over. Get the rest of this done. It ain't gonna take us too long, and I'll see you folks after us once we're done. And start doing the seeding. Soybean harvest done. We are now planting the alfalfa. So if you have a look here, alfalfa is growing, and he's rolling. And do give sorry involving that roller thing we've got because boy, I am going to destroy the bloody worker here because I thought, oh, if I start going this way, it's going to do all fine, all good in that. But no. It has to jump another f bloody field. And, uh, yes, we set the whole crop roof again, so... If this affects our silage overall, we're going to get, by a significant amount... God help that bloody worker, because, yep. Yeah, it is just absolutely muddered our grass fields. Grass fields, actually, now, in the same week, same game day, however you want to go buy it, but, oh god, that is absolutely infuriating. Now, I thought, oh, we're still going over here, like, still charging the extra money, I thought, check over, whilst doing the, sort of, tabbing through, and yeah, it decides to absolutely murder our grass. Why? I did the headed for this very reason. The header was supposed to stop the worker from doing this such stupid thing, but no. Uh, let's trust with me being lazy and get the to everything. Well, it's not being lazy, it's being more efficient with my time, you know. That's things, that's important in life, is your time and money. Time is money, time is valuable, so... Oh, uh, yeah, no, hey, let's, let's go for the hedgerows, why not? Workers just seem to do it just fine whatsoever, so why not us? So, let's get the last bit of the mulching done. There we go. So, yeah, that's pretty much all that mulch. Just, yeah, maybe a couple of bits here and there. But you know what? Overall, I am not concerned, so. Yeah, workers gonna keep on doing that. That is good. And we've got 45,000 litres of delicious soybeans. So yeah, that is going to be about... Actually, not quite as much as I thought. Do the quick math in my head, I'll say it's about 300 to 325 grand at pizza price. Of course, that all depends on us if we get that amount. Because you never know. Come this time next year, they may be an economic recession of 
But I also need the price to just lumb it down. So rather than be six and a half grand per thousand liters, it could be as low as two grand per thousand liters. Obviously, I don't see anything like that happens at any time soon. I hope. But yeah, that leaves us with just over three grand at the moment, so we do need to think about making more money in that on run farming that, so where does these two ah that needs to farm down here. Let's be a little cheeky cut with for a run and do all the big all around. We say just go for here. Cut up through the grass fields. And then this you just turn yeah. Oof. Just looking at the map there. But yeah, just turn right here and then we're just back onto the main route. Well, left here, and then turn right onto the main route. Maybe, just maybe. And actually whilst we're down here we can have a little look at our bread and that, because since we messed around with the whole pallet situation, now we're getting individual pallets, so yeah, let's go and have a little quick look here, shall we? And there we go, let's have a little look here. So, yep, we got more cakes, and yeah, I forgot these are 400 litres, not 1,000 litre pallets, so we should have a few more of these come sell time, so you know what? I am happy with that. Ooh, don't squish those cakes, please. There we go. Nope. There we go. Nope. There we go. Come on, just move. I said move. There we go. Bloody defiant cakes. That's the worst thing you can have is when your cakes become defiant, when they defy you and sometimes the laws of physics. Where's the old cane when you need them, you know, one of those old canes and that, you should be in schools and that. But who knows, but, so yeah, looking at that, that is all we've got at the moment. And yeah, we've got some short base down here, and I've, yeah, we're going to hit that pad limit within the next week or two, so could be worth moving everything over. And yeah, also I just remembered we need to fertilize one eleven. Technically we should have done that before the planting. Of the alfalfa, but oh heck it. Heck it to it also. But yeah, let's go put this in storage and then I think since we've got the mulching done, let's start fertilizing these fields and what we can do is once the field on one level has been planted of alfalfa. However, we could wait, they grow, and fertilize it again. Or maybe roll it, get a little bit of a bonus, but if you can't really want to roll in. Even though it's just one field and it should be relatively easy, I don't know. Anyways, here we are with our furrow spreader, and yeah, I also got and the, the was it Lemkin? Yeah, Lemkin Solitaire 23. So yeah, this gives us an additional 2,000 year capacity, so almost double, about two thirds increase in our capacity for our spreader. So yeah, that is going to make a huge difference for us when it comes to getting our work done. Yeah, I think the work's going to be almost done with the seeding as well on 111 with the alfalfa. Of course, one thing we'll do is go over the bits and miss around the edges. This sort of doing the heads in, but then to add focus on the harvesting. That's why we didn't do the full heads in, but I don't think that's going to be a huge issue for us. So, I think, anyways, we'll get it done. Do a little quick fertilizing. Finish off the seeding and then we'll go from there and do some other things. Maybe some contracts. Well, at least one or two contracts. We need to get that money up. I had two and a half grand. We are looking low for money at the moment.
go, we've got the fertilizing done. Now we need to tend to this field, and if we have a look here, only got a 50% application of fertilizer. So yeah, to get that second application down, either we need to wait for it to grow, or what I'm gonna do is actually just heck it and roll the fields. I know I did say I was going to roll the fields now. I'm thinking it might be the best option for us. And the good thing about us doing the rolling now, rather than our usual pre-rolling that we normally do, and as you really should do in real life, but we're in the rush, so we're skipping some steps, and hopefully that doesn't affect the yield of our crops. But yeah, at least when we're doing the rolling this way, you can actually see where we have been. And actually one thing I did not check is does the field need lime? If we turn that off, have a look here. Good, it does not need any lime. Oops. Missing bits. Let's get right to the edge here. Yeah, I'm not fussed if you miss little bits here and there, but overall I won't get it all done. But yeah, so it's going to take some time. Tempted to get a second roller, you know, when we use these, it is so useful and so versatile. But yeah, I'm thinking we could just do it with a second one, but at the moment we've got no money. And yeah, if we look at the contracts we've got available, got some bean stuff to do. That does require having a mower and that, and I've got a deal with the deer ship and that, so they're going to let us borrow a mower and wind rower. The wind rower used on the fence, because I would link up with what we've got with the baiter. And yeah, and then from there what we'll do is just bait it and, well, wind rower and bait at the same time. Even though with our mowing and stuff that we're going to be using, it is going to automatically windrow it. However, it is quite expensive and just cover our bases. No harm in just getting a windrower, so to ensure we don't miss any bits. But yeah, we need to move the combine as well, so yeah, just shove it over here for now. It takes back to the farm at some point. But yeah, unless we get any more contracts popping up for harvesting, that is pretty much the harvesting done for the year now. For this, all we've got to do now is the sugar beet fields. But yeah, actually, is there any contracts coming up soon? So if we have a look here, see what is ready, or nearly ready, so... Just having a look, so it's... Yeah, a lot of it is just sugar beets, I think. Sugar beets. What's these down here? One, two, three, or one sixteen? That sugar beet, sugar beet, cotton not there. Actually, there is a lot of cotton about. Actually, so I think we'll set ourselves up for some cotton contracts. Last thing, should we do cotton as well? Like maybe oh, I don't know. I didn't need to think about. I want to do soybeans. I want to do corn, and I want to do cotton. The corn, I'm just thinking, heck is, let's do a bunch of corn and that, get a load of silage. You know, chaff it in that. We'll need a bigger bunker silage, so we need to find a suitable area. I'm going to smack bang down a bunker silage because. So I think how much we would get from all that would be significant. And dang it, the cedar is in the way as well, so... But yeah, we'll keep the cedar as well, because we still see crops into November, so... I'm only just going over a hour on it, that's why the money's gone down. It is pretty expensive, it's hourly, I think it's like two grand per hour, so... Yeah, I think if we have a look... Over here, yeah, literally one hour exactly. So, if we did the uh, seeding ourselves, did our worker do it and mess around, then yeah, who knows? Could have had something there, but 
Anyways, let's have one more time lapse. Let's get the rest of this rolling done. And I'll see you folks after us once we're done. Once we start doing the throws again on this field and put that final application down. And there we go, we are done with the rolled in and that made no difference whatsoever in terms of putting that next application of fertilizer, so looks like we just have to wait for the alfalfa to grow and they can take too long. I think I shall start growing in the next episode. So yeah, we'll do that in the next episode. Also, what we'll be doing is finally harvesting the sugar beet. So yeah, there's a little detour in the well scheduled plan, I thought heck it. Let's just put some alfalfa in and just experiment. Have a little bit of fun in that and yeah, I think overall it was actually wasn't too bad. Just going use for the gate. That's been also realizing that using the header now, like use it for contract work and that. And you know it can get into all of the fields with relatively ease. That was just pure stupidity by me there, so. You know, things like navigating lanes and that, this does handle very well, so the well, 690 mod I'm using up for this actually does serve very really well. And if you want to go with a small header, that's fine. There's plenty of options for headers now with the new Holland brand, so I think realistically you'll go with like a 6 or an 8 meter header rather than what's this, like a 30 meter header we've got on here, so. But yeah, I was like, do we love the, the details in the cab as well? Just everything about it. It is really nice and to a good standard. So, as we're approaching the farm here, I think we'll put this away in storage. So, let's curve this in. Oops. Just got to do a little adjustment. But apart from that, yeah, because I don't think I've actually properly navigated this around the yard properly. So, That'll be an interesting thing, so... I think definitely with the header trailer, that's going to be... a fun thing to do with. You know, we can really start looking at, like, service and repairing the equipment as well, so... Should be a jet washer somewhere. There we go. Go and hose this down. But yeah, I think what we'll do is get like, the toolbox mod back in. So meeting the header and that, do the repair work on it. Yeah, apart from that, it's actually not cheap out of the mods. But yeah, this is absolutely filthy. I'm more excited that like, once or twice ready. I think click the after we've done the wheat and that, and it's absolutely filthy again. But yeah, I have no regrets in our purchase. We have our choice of horror and header. Like, the horror itself isn't expensive, it's just the header is a bit of a surprise. Obviously, we can't repair it or anything because we are in Griffin's amount of debt. So, see, so yeah, I think for the mower setup, for the wind rower, and all that, and if we go with the cotton harvester now, that you borrow that from the dealership and that, 
that's going to cost us in the realm of five to ten grand. So, yeah, we can't get into the workshop. So, can we trigger it? I think the trigger is for here. Yeah, not enough money. But fairness this is what? How worn is it? Only twenty-five percent worn. So, saying that, actually, too bad. All things considering. Yeah, that's filled up. And let's go. Yeah, so yeah, through 300 USF. So, yeah, overall, not too bad. And I think that's a good way to end the episode. So, yeah, next time I said, sorry, doing sugary stuff. I may do some contracts off camera. If I do, I'll include clips as I usually do with these stuff. But yeah, so, anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're nice day. For now, it's me farmer and boy stream. And I'll see you all very soon.